What's up all my YouTube viewers and hobbyists out there? It's your boy The Hobby Collector and I'm here to give you guys an unboxing slash review of the JBL Tune 225 TWS earphones. Bluetooth earphones, should I say. Now to give you guys the backstory of me personally when it comes to my interaction with JBL, I am one of the people that own the original and still do own the original white speaker. At the time, no one have ever heard a speaker that loud, that clear, with that much bass, and just booming like that from just a small device. So that's what JBL, you know, JBL is one of those people that's a grandfather of these loud, small speakers. So, and then I moved up from the JBL uh, original speaker to the JBL Extreme speaker, which I actually got a somewhat recent review up on uh, YouTube. You can search for that. And then I also got the Extreme 2 review. You know, uh, a buddy of mine had got that, picked, picked the Extreme 2 up because he loved mine so much. And that review is kind of interesting when I put those two versus each other. So check that out too. And also I own some JBL Tune on-ear uh, headphones, uh, Bluetooth headphones. And then I'm also in the uh, plans on buying a uh, I don't have the model number in front of me right now, but uh, the JBL gaming headset. I think it's the something 600s or something like that. I forget the exact uh, name of it, but I'm gonna pop it up on screen, of course. But I'm planning on buying these um, soon. Just to have myself some real gaming headsets. I've been using my uh, Skull Candy headphones. I love how they vibrate and everything, but I need some real gaming, uh, a real gaming headset. Now, on to the main star of the show, the, the JBL Tune 225 earphones, wireless earphones. How do these match up to the JBL name? I would tell you like this, to be straightforward and blunt with you, they do not match up. <laughs> at all. Like, this is a shame that this is, these are called JBLs. You're looking at a JBL fan. Like, I'm a fan of JBL. Every single time I see a speaker or something that has sound and it happen to say JBL on it, I'm, a, I'm like a little kid instantly. Like, I want to see what it's about. I want to, like, when I seen my first JBL soundbar, I'm like, wait, what? JBL makes a sound bar. Oh man. So like JBL got a lot of us like that. Like, cause we're the original ones that was using JBL when it first came out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand, I'm one of the people that was using these speakers when they first, first, first came out, when they first was hot and people was going crazy over how loud these damn speakers are. So JBL is known for its loudness, you know? These are not loud at all. Let me go ahead and get to the details of what I'm talking about. So, um, these are directly inside your ear. They're earphones, right? So how come when there's sounds around me, I can hear every single sound, everything? But the upside to them being like, I can hear everything around me and stuff, is the fact that I can hear everything around me. Even with my music on, I can, for the most part, I can hear, like, if it's loud, I can hear around me. Now, if it's too loud, like I was using them at work inside the cooler, you know, because like I said, your boy be making doing boss moves. So I'm inside the cooler, you know what I'm saying? Giving direction and just orchestrating stuff and organizing things in the, in the, in the dairy cooler. And the dairy cooler uh, refrigeration be on at all times. And I could barely hear my music at full blast. How do I have my volume up at full blast and I can literally barely hear my music? These are earphones inside of your ear and I can barely and I'm, I'm, I was tripping. I'm, I kept on pulling my phone in my pocket, turning. I'm like, is something wrong with my volume? Like, what is going on? How can you barely hear music that's inside your ear directly? But I feel like this is the perfect environment that these are for. These are, I feel like these are good for if you're always inside a busy environment and you need to, and you need to, you need to hear things and stuff like that. And don't get it twisted. These don't write these off completely right away because it's not like I'm. It's not like they're super, super quiet. They're loud, but just not loud enough. Especially isn't loud compared to what JBL, you know, the name that JBL made for themselves and stuff. Like, this is not a JBL product, in my opinion. Like, cause it's not JBL sound, you know? Like, the sound quality is decent, but it's not thumping. You know, they don't have no bass inside. Like, these earphones these days, they know how to, they know how to orchestrate them to where they have like a little bit of bass sound to them. These only have that. You know, it, it sounds good, but that's about it. It sounds good. If I were to give it out of 10, I give it a seven out of 10. And so let's go ahead and get to the details of the case and everything, the charging and everything. They're pretty sure at this point, everyone that had are seen and understand how these earphones and stuff work. You put them inside the charger, the charger can charge them up about two to three times. Um, there's light indicators on this, on the uh, case itself to let you know 
how charged the case is. There's a total of three lights, of course, low, medium, high, and then the earphones themselves, which I actually like my first time seeing lights on the earphones. You wouldn't even expect to even see a light shine from that spot right there. It's kind of, it looks kind of nice, to be honest with you. Um, like I said, these headphones are completely bad. Just the fact that they say JBL and it gets somebody like me excited, you know, and stuff like that. And I got them on sale. I got these for only 50 bucks. Um, Burlington, use my Burlington credit card, baby. So everything else about the uh, JBL earphones themselves, as far as the design and everything, is nice, you know. Um, you know, the case is real nice. I like the oval shape of it. I like the feel of it inside my, inside my hands and everything. Um, these are the kind that slide in and out. Now let's get to the functionality of these earphones and see what they can do. I'm pretty sure just like any other earphones, they function kind of relatively the same. I'm um, on the left earphones, it has a button on there. And I like that it's actually a button because on my Samsung ones, it's, it was touch sensitive. So when I barely even touch my ear, barely trying to adjust the, hair, the earphones to put them inside my ear correctly, it'll keep on pausing my music when I barely, or if anything touches it, like, you know, it'll pause the music. That was annoying. You know, it was good at times when I needed it to be convenient like that, but for the most part, when you barely even rubbing across your ear or just like every any little touch to the earphones, it'll think that you're trying to pause the music. Nevertheless, these got a button on these ones. And uh, on the left earphone, it has a button. If you press that one time, it'll skip forward inside your music or you double tap it to skip back. Of course, just like any other thing, that's Bluetooth and stuff like that. Um, when you get in the phone call, that's how you answer your phone calls as well. You can press the button one time to answer it. Uh, press it again and hang it up. Uh, hold for three seconds to mute your, your audio. So if you don't want to, you know, if you need to mute your phone, you have to worry about pulling your phone out your pocket. You can just hold hold the button for three seconds. It'll mute your audio, your voice. Um, on, the, on the right earphone, you got your uh, Google Assist and Siri and things of that nature, which I never, ever use. I'm probably the only person on, on earth that don't use Siri or none of that stuff at all. Not even a little bit, not even a fraction. Like, that shit is weird to me. Like, Alexa and all that. And I, don't, I don't ever use that stuff. Anyways, um, on there, on the button on that one, that's for your play and for your pause. So you press that once to play, press it once to pause. You can also answer the phone and hang up on that button too. So it, don't, it do not have to only be the left side earphone you can press the button on the right side to answer your phones as well same thing applies with the muting of the of your voice you can mute the at all you can mute your voice by holding down for three seconds and then for two seconds if you hold the button down for two seconds that's how you activate google assist and uh siri and things of that nature and one thing i love about jbl and and they should never change this because it is them it's their sig signature sounds that they use when it comes to turning on their speakers and stuff. It's the same exact sound they had for their original speaker. Same thing. We turn it on. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. When it connects and everything, like that's how you like. I just love that sound because whenever you hear it, you don't have to. You don't have to even see the speaker that someone's using. You just know that's a it's a JBL speaker just by, just from the sounds, you know. So JBL. I have brought a lot of y'all products that so I need to sponsor your boy. I need a sponsor. I need like two or three sponsors, man. That's the reason why I'm not a big YouTuber yet. And I'm so fucking underrated. I need some damn sponsors. Damn it. Anyways, with that being said, people of YouTube, hope you guys watch this. Watch this. Enjoyed this. I hope y'all did watch it. Damn it. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this uh, YouTube video. Um, visit the link down inside the description if you do want to pick these up. Um, they are some good earphones, just not super loud. If you don't, if you don't care for your music to be ultra loud, then you know, go ahead and pick these up. They're not bad. It's just not. They're not super. You know what you expect from JBL earphones. So um, with that being said, they are worth the price. Well, yeah, they're worth the price. I feel like they're worth the price um, for what they're asking. And what, also, what I meant to mention too is they charge up via uh, USB-C. So um, and it comes with a charger, but I already got those already, so I don't need that. So thank you guys for watching this YouTube video and shout out to all my recent subscribers and current subscribers from this, probably from this video. Uh, thank you. And also extra shout out and thank you to the people that have been subscribed to me for a minute, rocking with your boy all these years and all these months. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. No, no cap whatsoever. So with that being said, much love and I'm out. Peace.